Hello, I'm playing The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. And I'm here with my co-host and friend. That's your cue, by the way. Oh, um, it's me. It's me, um, Alley Girl, everyone. Hey, hi, it's me, Alley Girl. I'm here today I'm on this episode here. of The Legend of the, Le the Legend of, of, uh, of Zelda. The Legend of Navi. I wish I could sound like Navi. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I wasn't reading that prompt, so I just selected the wrong answer like 12 times, and it kept coming back up. I was like, why is it not there doing? You New file's been created. Oh, we get to name him. What are we going to name him? You already know what we're going to name him. Lopus. Lop. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll just name him Bread. I like the idea of naming him Loaf. Why do you want to name him no Loaf? Because you're Bread Ultra Loaf. Yeah, so it should be Bread. No? Alright, we'll call it Bread. No, 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 it's Bread. All caps. Okay, I'll do all caps. BREAD! <laughs> that way everyone has to scream your name. Oh, my cursor's on the window. Oh, no. What are you going to do? a cardinal sin. What's the sin? Uh, I mean, you're not supposed to record with your cursor on the screen, right? Isn't that a no-no? I'm going to move it. I'm going to oh, jiggle it around so people get oh, annoyed. Oh, this is important. Do you want me to read it? No, I already know this. I'll do my best oh, okay. voice, though. <laughs> it was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. He's a pig man. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. They all died. The memory of the kingdom vanquished, or vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. I can't read. That's okay, on a I certain island, it became customary to grab boy. <laughs> <laughs> it Gar became customary boys. to carve boys in green We're when they came of age. Young boys. <laughs> Growth in the green of fields. They aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. <laughs> it's Epstein's island. 
<laughs> the elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. playing we're playing the game the game is so cute you're gonna love it i've never played it have you played it yeah i have okay I've, I've played it multiple times it's great i love this game i think you saw me play the other day when i was doing my little test run i played to the section where the pirate girl gets taken which by the way i already know the spoiler with that game, so it's... okay it's not really a spoiler to be honest not now I this mean, game's what 20 is. years old yeah it is Okay, you be what? Errol. You have to do Errol. I know, I did go on her. Yeah. <laughs> there he is! That's me! Big brother! Dumb shit. Get the fuck up! <laughs> Link doesn't have any lines, so I guess no one's been whistling. Hip! Yeah! Yeah! Where's Hi, that yeah! Dick? Big stretch, like a kitty cat. I knew you'd be here. Heart style is so like cute. Isn't it adorable? It really is, yeah. This is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the goals, I call it Ariel's Lookout. <laughs> oh my god, that goal was like on the screen real close. <laughs> So, do you remember what day it is? Look at his today? face, bro. <laughs> He's like He's so done. over it. He's so expressive in this game. There are ways, by the way, with the camera function that comes in later, where you get to change like Link's expressions on his face, and it's hilarious. Oh, seriously? I can't wait for that. Yeah. You're still half asleep, aren't you? Big brother, you dumb shit. Did you forget? <laughs> I forgot the line. I thought I was gonna get it. There it is. Big brother, it's your birthday! Did you forget your birthday? That's why grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. I also love how he has a family in this. It makes, like... He does! Like, it makes it's... it to where I care more about this Link in particular. Whereas other Links, it's like he's just... Like Twilight Princess Link, for example, he's just yeah. he just lives in the village. He's just like lives by himself. He's like fourteen yeah. or fifteen or whatever. And like yeah. Ocarina of Time, he's like a forest child, but he's not really. He's like a highly an orphan. And Breath of the yeah. Wild, his family is like a hundred years dead, so like they're not even mentioned. I know. But this is like so. It makes I don't know. It just makes him so much more relatable. It's, I don't live with my grandma crazy. and sister, but like the fact that he just has people in his life. I know, and he wants to protect them, and it's right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing I came to find you. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Maybe. Maybe. What's she gonna say Bye, again? Brother. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma is waiting for you back at the house. And I'm sure everyone on the island wants to say hello to you, too. Well, let's go say hey to him. Run, little boy. I also oh, love the little there's... piggies on the island. You pick them up. Yes, they're so cute. This whole game, honestly, I think this is one of my, this is one of my favorite Zelda games. If not my favorite Zelda game. Oh, I did a little slide. I unironically like, uh, what's it called? I unironically love the DS games, too. Don't they use the same style? They do. And they use kind of the same link. Actually, Phantom Hourglass is a direct sequel to this game. It, like, takes place on the same island and everything. Yeah! Rupees! Chest. Da -da -da -da. <gasps> Money! This isn't my house, by the way. This is actual robbery. <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Run for me, Bob! I'm crawling on the floor! 
Link is so sassy in this game. I love it. <laughs> go, go. This game is the best. I love it. I'm so glad we're playing it. Uh, I'm playing this for you, I Tyler. Think... Oh. <gasps> Piggy! Piggy pig! I love the pigs. They're so cute. Come here. I'm not using the controls yet. Give me a second. You can, uh, there's a dude, and if you bring him back all of his pigs, he'll give you a reward. Ah, uh, I love pigs. I don't remember what the reward is, though. They swim, I know that. Yeah. <gasps> oh, good. They swim. Yeah. Link doesn't like being wet. Look at how angry he is. <laughs> I love how expressive he is. It's so yeah. great. This guy. I do. Hoy, bread. What's that? Today's your birthday? Well, congrats, buddy. Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes a year. Why? I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day. But look at how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting it, bread? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Except, you're going to need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. That's just common sense, buddy. Like a sword? Cool. Yep. Does he mean like a sword of some sort? A sword. Could I possibly cut the grass with a sword? You could cut the grass with a sword. Oh, it's that disgusting child. Uh, oh, I think this is a different kid. Hi, you know Brad! child I'm talking about. Hey! Is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Huh? Is it? Tell me. Let's find out. More rupees. Wow! I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, Brad. You'll never oh, be able to. Oh, you'll never be like me, child. Stay in your place. He's going to die. This guy looks like Shaggy. A shaggy. Like, I just saw a wild, wild pig. <laughs> oh, see? Look, that black one there. Don't you see him? I'm not going to do a Shaggy voice for this guy. This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Brad? Now you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert about their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. Yeah, I'm like. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold the R button to crouch and tilt the control stick to crawl slowly up behind it. Slow. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. I mean, if you want. I mean, you don't. I'm gonna go fucking tell you what to do, you fucking da, 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 shit. Da, 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 da. Charlie's in the bushes. <gasps> it's a black pig. Black piggy. Oh, I think you have to put it in his yard. Like, he's got like a fenced in yard somewhere. Find it later. This guy's got a big ol' head. Hi, Hi bread! Press the L button right there and use the A button to talk to me. Try it. Fuck you, old man. That's correct. You're a smart one. You, oh, my okay. friend, have just L targeted me. You see, when you press the L button, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there's there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use L targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing if I do say so myself, and I do. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag, not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Mm. Yes, little boy, you can trust me. Come into my shop, please. Yes, there's no trapdoors here. Or come be alone with me, young man. 
Why don't you take off your clothes? It's getting rather stuffy in here. Oh, you're supposed to offer him a drink first, wink wink. You're growing up bread, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can get from this point forward. I and if you want to be wise, things. you must first know things. Mm -hmm. Now, I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. Yes, hmm, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now, I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately, I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Consider yourself lucky, lad. I consider myself killing myself. <laughs> Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is a bit odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. This is like that one dude at work that you just like wish would stop talking to you. Yeah, at least he gets to look funny though. Such a racket! Can't you keep it quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan! Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother, who lives just downstairs. I bet he's cooler than you. He hates studying all day, every day, the loud just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain's a muscle too, I, I think. It's a fat. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Hmm, yes indeed. This guy's a Sigma male. I've already read all these. This is like, uh, it just tells you the buttons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't need to do that. He has nothing to offer me, foolish old man. Give me your money. Where's your money? Let me break your pots. Give me all your fucking money. Have you seen that little girl? No. She's holding a Barbie, and her mom, like, films her, and she's in the doorway, and she picks up Barbie and starts slamming her head against the door, and she's like... <laughs> She's like being a lone shark in like whatever play pretend game she's doing. Gotta yelp. Go talk to his brother. This dude's the dude that thinks he's a shark. Oh. Hey there, Brad. Is that you? If I recall correctly today. You're the same age as the legendary hero. When did you get so old? Yesterday. You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. You've come at the perfect moment. I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can, then press the A button. That is how you perform a rolling attack. If you think you understand, then try to roll into the wall. Go on, young one. Such a racket! Can't you keep it quiet? You've knocked no. everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan! Ah, my brother upstairs is very high strung. This is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He is quite wise, but with that big head of his, he is hardly accommodating. On top of it all, he is so very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, bread. I sense the natural talent that beats your veins. But you need more talent than that to make it in the world today. You must also be bold. And to the end, and to that end, I shall teach you the art of swordplay. What say ya? Do you wish to practice your skills with a sword? Of course. Um... Let's go! Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press the B button. 
Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Wrong. Press only B. Oh, okay, so I can't walk on. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, Very good. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold the L button to target it. Then press B. Keep swinging. Don't stop swinging till I tell you to, boy. Very good. Next is the thrust. L target, then tilt the thumbstick up and press B. Come at me. Thrust me with your sword. Very good. Keep thrusting. My camera. Good. That is enough. It is as I foresaw. One day, you shall become a master of the sword. But it is still too soon to give you a sword to carry around with you. I'm afraid I cannot give you one yet. If I did give you one, I am certain your grandmother will be quite upset with me. And I do not need that. But if for any reason you feel you need more training, then come see me again. That was awesome. This guy's charming. I want to break your pots now. Hey, Allie. Uh. Did you disappear on me? I think Allie's gone. Whoops. Is there nothing in these? Guess not. Oh, a mailbox. Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. Hey, little boy. Um, your grandma was calling for you, bruh. And so was my mom. Thanks, little man. I want to go this way first, though. See what's up here. Hello, lady. Today is your birthday, isn't it, bruh? I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell you the truth, I could congratulate myself, too. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't it a delightful addition to the place? I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. What do, a what do kids like these days? Listen, dearie, if you see any good pets around, be a lamb and just bring one here. If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but we won't tell your grandma about it, will we? Okay, so I guess she wants the pigs? Let me take a big dirt and see what she says. Yep. Why did you bring that little piglet all the way here for just me? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home, you sweetie. Okay, Brad, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, money. That's what we're talking about. We get paid. Why, this little darling is cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind having 
even more of them. Alright, so you're gonna all the pigs on the island. Can we get some more pigs? Ah, I cornered him. Yeah. Ah. Why, did you bring me another piglet? Oh, you were all worried about this little guy. Would get lonely hanging outside in the fence all by himself. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's a little something for you. Yo, we get money. How much money can I hold, actually? I don't need wallets. In this game. If you find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I'll bring all the pigs you want. As long as I get my money. What do we have here? Nothing? I fit under the bed? Nope. Oh well. Guess it's time to go to Grandma's house. Aw, look at this little picture. Is that Link and his sister? <laughs> and there's a really close up picture of Ariel. I love this game actually. No, oh, I just started it, but I love it. Oh, there's my grandma. I've been waiting for you, Bread. Hi. Bread, try these on. I don't know how to do an old woman voice. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. But the hero's clothes, they look like they might be a little warm for this weather. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those old days. Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Bread? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, get your sister Ariel. Gotta go get my sister. Go! Got the iconic green uniform now. Now I'm Link. Now I'm real Link. <coughs> oh my! Red! Congratulations! That outfit looks cute on you. Hey, your little sister Ariel was looking for you not long ago. 
Oh, did I tell you she was watching me not too long ago and she said she wanted to learn how to carry jars on her head so she could help your grandma do chores. Hey, if you see Ariel, tell her that all she needs to do is lift the jar and stand in front of it and press the A button. And to set it down, she just needs to press the R button. Tell her, okay? Alright. Crabs! Huh. Can't do anything with it? Nope, I guess not. There's a boat over here. Hey, it's Beetle! Looks the same as he does in uh, Breath of the Wild. Hello, Beetle. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle's shop ship. I deal with pretty much everything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? I'll just use the thumbstick to browse. I have no idea what voice to do with uh, Beetle, honestly. Bait bag. <laughs> okay, what does this pair do? Uh, I mean, it's only ten rupees. I guess I'll buy one of these. Hey. Welcome back. You finally came back. I needed you to do grandma voice. Like okay. grandma's voice. What? Oh shit. Yeah, you you went like okay. mute for like a while. I probably fell asleep. It's like two a.m. and oh, I've been up goodness. since five a.m. <laughs> oh, wow. Why are you up so early? Uh, because I go to work. <laughs> yeah, so do I. But I don't get up that early. Oh well, I usually get up that early because I study before I go to work. Okay. But work and yeah but i probably like micro fell asleep right. oh this is a piece of bait i have to have the bag first bait bag oh and you're cute little pig thing okay i have a bait bag now Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna make you a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. I'll come to your house and I'll fucking kill you. Oh, that was nice. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. There's no other shop in the game. You now have one point saved up. You should try you to save up 30 point. points so you can earn a silver membership. Or just use the thumbstick to browse. Uh, I don't want to buy anything else. See ya, Beetle. Bye. Let me out. No. I have to just go. To, I just have to go to the mind. bottom. Good now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I must have fallen ba asleep. Ba ba da 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 da. Da 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 Ah! I fell into the water. It's all kid. wet now, Grandma. It's so, 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 aren't those clothes hot? You're hot. Don't say that to a little boy. This is Epstein's Island, is it not? I was trying to zoom in on his face. I have to go up. Grandma told me to go to Ariel and talk to her again. Ariel. What's that in the distance over there? Mm -hmm. It's like a big thing. Oh, there's lots of them. There's it's like islands. islands. Goodbye, seagull! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But, wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess 
they're pretty neat though. So anyway, bread. <laughs> can you close your eyes and hold you out your hand? Just a second. I had a dead bird. I give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Can't have it. Hey. You got the telescope. It's your sister's most precious, most valuable belongings. Never lose it. Treasure it dearly. Do it now and see what you can see. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Why don't you try it out? Right, now! Try looking over at our house from there. Here. What? <laughs> How do I, uh... If you would have read the instructions, you know. Hey, what's that? Bread. Big brother, are you using... Big brother, are you using... Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? The sky! Look up in the sky! Hello, bird! It's got a child! It's the pirate girl. Whiff. Whiff. I sure do love when birds steal small little girls. It happens more often than you think. That's Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> no, that's the Lolita Express. Oh, shit. What smacked in the face. Goodbye, small child. We gotta go get her. She's dead. <laughs> Those trees look like they're, they're like, like just cardboard cutouts. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you could use to defend yourself with. Like a gun. Okay, Errol, I'll go get myself a gun. Oh, that's the wrong way, Link. Actually, his name's Bread. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, he's Link. I'm Bread. I'm play. I'm... I'm possessing him right now. He's like conscious, but I'm moving his body. So that's why he makes his facial expressions. He's like, he's not in He's like his trapped body in now. his own mind. Yeah. It's like he's that spongebob. Like, locked in syndrome. It's like that SpongeBob episode when uh Plankton has control of uh SpongeBob and he's like stealing the gravity better. Yes. Look, look. Watch this. Oh no, I'm drowning. See, Link didn't want to do that. I made him do that. Oh god. Look at me, Link. I'm the captain now. I need a sword, right? So let's go talk to uh, this guy. Does he have a sword? Where do I get a sword? I don't know. I think your grandma. I think this guy said he was going to get me a sword or something. Oh, what's the matter, Brit? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, the look on your face, I suspect it's no laughing matter. What say you, Brit? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of a sword? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, am I just doing the tutorial again? I think it's just the tutorial again. Maybe I can just walk out with a sword. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horrors. He has the same shit. <laughs> Oh, I did a combo there. Very good. Next is a ver yes. Same shit. Ah. You got mad at me. 
Wow, he's screaming. <laughs> oh. That was like a real scream. Next is a- this is new. Next is a spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength. Then release it or rotate the thumbstick once and press B. Wait, I can- I can do it like this. Uh, very good. More. Keep it up. Next is harder. This is a parry attack. L target until you see A. Then quickly press the A button to perform a defensive strike. Okay. Whoa. The camera's a little bit fucked up. Just a little. It's kind of cool though. Very good. Now finally the jump attack. Draw your sword, L target, and press A. Come at me once more. That was a fine display. And yet, yeah, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Brad. I'll give it to you freely. Aww. Take the blade with you. Okay, so you just have to do two lessons with the sword. Sit. Well, I figured it out. <laughs> Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. How sweet. Since this the olden days, this it. sword has been used to fend off evil. If its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. It's the Bible. It's the sword of the spirit. Be strong, <laughs> Brad. No, seriously, it's the I, I carry with me the, the word of God. Yes. I'm trying very hard to stay awake here. It's okay. I'll end this episode soon. We'll go talk to Grandma! I already talked to Grandma. You missed it. Uh, You're here. I was she had here. The, I was just she had the She had the shield on her wall, but uh, she wouldn't give it to me. She said I was a loser. Aww. She didn't actually say I was a loser, but she wouldn't give me the shield. I mean, she kind of called you a loser. She gave me this From clothes. What I she gave me this clothes and was like, You're lame. I was like, Ooh. I was like, yes, Grandma. Dumb shit. You'll never be the hero of time. You dumb little freak. Isn't he the hero of Sail? Isn't that his name? His title? He's the wind. Or is it Waker. hero of the wind? Is it hero of the wind or hero of the sail? I think he's the. I think he's just the wind waker. No, the Wind Waker's the little thing he uses. Oh. It's like his ocarina. Maybe he is the hero of the wind then. I don't know actually what his title is. Because each one, each Link, is like the hero of whatever. Like, there's a uh, hero of time, obviously. And then there's the hero of twilight. And then there's like... The hero of both. I think the legendary hero is like the original. And then um, yeah. hero of the wilds is uh, Breath of the Wild, and I think this one yeah. is like Hero of the Wind or like Hero of the Sail or something like that. Yep. yep. I think you're right. I think it's Hero of the Wind. So. If you know the answer, leave a like and comment down below! Subscribe! So don't forget to subscribe to not only my YouTube channel, but also my OnlyFans. That's on OnlyFans. OnlyFans is where you post nudes of yourself. I don't no, actually I have one. I know that. I mean, what's on your OnlyFans? I don't have one. It was a joke. <laughs> ball jiggle vids. How about that? How about ball jiggle vids? How about uh, nut vids with sound on? That's disgusting. Yeah, well. Don't pay for it then. <gasps> I won't. It's a moblin. I'm gonna kill it. It's not a moblin, that's like a lizard person. That is a moblin. What are the names of the 
like little pig people. Moblins. That's what that was. Are you sure? That didn't look like a moblin. That looked like the lizard people. The bacoblin. Bacoblin? Yeah, there's like the cobblin, moblins, and then there's the lizard people. The lizard. What the are lizards they are Lizalfos. Lizalfos. He was a Lizalfo. That was. He was not a lizard. You sure? Yeah. Because the way that he stood. Was no, not... look. He has a snout and tusks. Look. Oh, you're right. These are. I think these are the coblins. Yeah, you're right. The way that they stood was not very, like, piggy-like. Because later on, you see, like, classic-looking, like, macoblins from the Mabaklins or whatever. Baklavakins? Oh. Obamas? Oh, Obamas. Barack Obamas. Obamas. No, we can't call them that because they're actually black. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna be racist. That's, uh... I'll be offensive, but I will never be racist. Alright, you have to be Tetra, or whatever her name is. I'm Tetra. Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Oh, that's right. There's giant bird came, and... <gasps> Miss! Miss Tetra! I love this dude. Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... I mean, it's Epstein's Island, after all. Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? What a fucking bitch. It wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird and bull. We're going to kill it and eat it. But, miss, what about the boy? We'll kill him and eat him, too. <laughs> don't worry about him. Come on. I know that dude. That dude is in, uh, what's it called? He's also in Phantom Hourglass. He works at the ship dock. He sells oh. bombs. It's Ariel. <laughs> Hello, my dear sister. I'm sure nothing dangerous is about to happen to you. Ew. Oh god, it's Jeffrey Epstein. It's the Lolita Express! <laughs> What was the name of his island? Little St. James or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is Little St. James Island for sure. Oh, shit! Did he just run off a cliff? Off? Yes. He's not the brightest, he? does he? that a lot. Oh, stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. They're gonna fucking eat her. <laughs> I guess we didn't get to eat the bird. It's gonna eat her your sister instead. My sister. Oh, he's so sad. Yeah. What? You wanna come with us on our ship? No way. Fuck you. Yes, yes. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates. The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but I don't really give a shit. <laughs> that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? No. Your sister became a boat snack for that chicken. Who's talking? Is this grandma? And how do you figure that? I don't know, I'm assuming. Oh, it's Birdman. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where you get off button in on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. He's right, you know. 
And I just... And just what do you mean by that? Huh? Dumb bird bitch. <laughs> he really said shut up, bitch. <laughs> just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. No, you don't tell me what to fucking do. Shut up, fuck ass into... hoe. <laughs> no, I'm gonna turn you into KFC just like I'm gonna do with the other bird. <clears throat> Eat your sister, you eat the bird, and we're gonna eat you. No. And now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many different things. Mostly about your mother. Haven't any of you heard word that a young that young girls have been getting kids? Bro, it's straight up Jeffrey Epstein plot. <laughs> like Pizza Gate. Uh, this is like Zelda Gate. I don't know. Been getting kidnapped lately oh, wait, from all regions Gannon of the Great Sea. Oh wait, Jeffrey Epstein. Oh wait. Holy shit! You're right. Gannon no, is Jeffrey Epstein. No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen They're again. Millions. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pilot. My you point know, is... I just dawned on me why they're kidnapping all the girls, even though I've played this game like three or four times. Well, spoil it, I don't know. I'm not going to, but Fine. like, I'll, I'll bring it up later. Okay. But it just dawned on me because of that point he just made. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Um, and shit. correct me if I'm <laughs> if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Bread here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? No, he's fucking mute and retarded. <laughs> Is this true? Oh, I don't think I can say that, can I? No, you can say it. I'm not. I'm not monetized. Okay. So I don't give a fuck. Oh, and while I'm at it, I won't say. That. I may as well tell you that. The bird that kidnapped both you and Bread's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Oh my god. Isn't that the place where, you know, he takes those girls and, you know. So what are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Bread a little help now, would it? I don't really give a shit. I'm a pirate. Sure. I do what the fuck I want. I don't I don't owe this child anything. I could skewer him right now. <laughs> I don't need to tell you I don't need you to tell me that. I stick him on a spit and roast him over the fire. Can I <laughs> Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid, just like you. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with, anything. Get some sticks. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, then we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. Like your fucking grandma. Fuck your grandma. <laughs> I don't want to get no weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Wait, here's this dweeb. He wasn't in the cutscene. Oh, that's weird. Hey, a shrimplet. Are you gonna be our new pirate swabby? Cause any new swabby <laughs> reports to me. Yes. No, they don't. This means I don't have to wash the other pirates' dirty underpants anymore. All right. I think I'm going to cut it there. Thanks for watching, all two people that watch this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank, thank you, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. See you next episode. Bye.